What's up, Yens? This week on Car Dad Bill, we have a sports car special guest, and it is the Subaru BRZ 2024 TS model, six speed manual transmission, rear wheel drive. Let's go for a ride. All right, so first impressions of this Subaru BRZ. I drove one a few years ago and I loved it. It was all right. You know, it was, it was good, it was fun. This one's better. It's stiffer, it's faster, it handles better. It has better looks overall, I think, than the previous model. And I just, it's just one of those cars. It's a, it's a purpose-built sports car to drive fast on a track or around twisty bends. It handles superbly well. And it reminds me of the Miata. The Miata is also a very purist uh, driving vehicle, rear wheel drive and a manual transmission. And you can add different motors to it, like the Corvettes and whatnot. But when you give it a four cylinder that handles well, or that drives well and sounds well, sounds good, you can't really go wrong. First impressions are thumbs up, but let's get to the real review. There's a couple things about this that I wanna point out first and foremost. Number one is this amazing shape. The amazing shape, the black wheels, the LED lights everywhere. We got LED turn signals flashing away. But look at that shape overall. Doesn't it just scream fast, good handling, purest manual transmission, dual exhaust pipes, naturally aspirated four-cylinder, 2.4-liter boxer engine, the Brembo brakes, got four pistons up there four pistons up there real nice and then look at this look at the sleekness it actually looks a little bit like a cross between a supra and the new z from nissan but i don't know what do you guys think love the brz up front here the subaru logo really sharp headlights with the daytime running lights led headlights and led turn signals flashing away active grills up front here to shoot air through and then they come through the other side love the shape overall my favorite part of the shape is this bulge here for the back tire it's really aggressive looks really nice overall i think it's really stylish supercar looking and my kids actually call it a mini supercar they're like is it, are we gonna ride in a mini supercar today yeah we are Love that shape. I could stare at that all day long. Let's get inside and talk about it. All right, Yens, we're inside the BRZ. And it's pretty, like, enthusiast, purist styled in here. It's very cockpit-like. It's got the turbine style vents, which you spin this and they open and close. I love that. I love that touch. I do like the suede on the doors. We have blue stitching throughout, blue stitching down there, blue stitching on the steering wheel, blue stitching down here on the gear shifter, and then the seats on the emergency brake, stuff like that. Speakers up high, speakers in the door, speakers behind me, suede up on the dash for, for the glare, anti-glare. But then you have this small steering wheel. It's very, very fun to drive. You got the old Toyota style cruise control knob on the side there and then all of this stuff controls obviously what's up there and up there we have the 20 28 miles of the gallon average which is great digital speedometer with the tachometer that runs around it then you have your gauges over here and your temperature and your information display and whatnot up front here it's a pretty basic screen it's touch screen it does whatever you need it to do it's nothing really crazy. You have your dedicated buttons on the right and left of the screen that control that stuff. And then you have your racing style knobs down here for your, for your temperature, your HVAC controls. Everything's dedicated down here to HVAC. Your start stop button with the STI logo on it. There's also an STI logo on the gauge cluster up front there. BRZ mats, blue suede seats, or black suede with the blue accents. And then back here, it's not really that big, but if I have Joey sitting up front here, Anna can fit back there if I slide this seat forward a little bit. So it's really not horrible, but you can't have a bunch of people in here, obviously, right? This is just a sports car, two-door, 
with two seats in the back that kind of you know serve their purpose for a quick commute or whatnot but this is the highlight of the show folks the clutch pedal down there and the stick shift up here this is definitely worth it definitely a, makes it a fun car makes it fun to drive pull the e-brake and get it rocking and rolling let's go on the road and talk about it all right jeans before we get on the road we are live and in your face today because there's no room to put the camera on the dashboard except or on the screen except here so really close up but the the brz is a fun vehicle to drive it's rear wheel drive it's got a, a naturally aspirated four cylinder that's very strong it's got the six speed manual transmission and it just lends itself to being a sports car and I don't get to drive a lot of sports cars in this job. Um, I get a lot of family vehicles because that's really what we're reviewing, right? Car Dad Bill. I do a lot of family vehicles, SUVs, sedans, trucks, things that most families are going to drive with kids and whatnot. But every once in a while, it's nice to have a two-door sports car that's just pure driving fun. And I and I miss those days of just driving fun. But back to the back to the thing at hand here. 2024 Subaru BRZ TS. It's in the gray metallic color. It's got a 2.4 liter boxer four cylinder, six speed manual transmission, rear wheel drive. Horsepower ratings come in at 228 for the horsepower and 184 for the torque numbers, which is not gonna blow anybody's socks off by any means, but it's plenty of power. It feels great. It sounds good, has a good exhaust note out of the dual exhaust in the back, and it just gets the speed just fine. There's no need for 300 and more horsepower turbos and superchargers. I'm sure people are going to do that to this aftermarket, but for the way it comes out of the box, it's an excellent driving vehicle. It has the STI tuned suspension with four piston brakes up front from the Brembos, ultra suede interior all the way around with blue stitching throughout this is also the first manual transmission vehicle to be equipped with the eyesight cameras from subaru for the safety features uh which is a good thing the C cdb real mpg the car dad bill real mpg 28.2 i showed you that up on the on the gauges earlier let's go over oh let's go over the price so as tested 36 465 not terrible for a brand new rear wheel drive manual transmission sports car i don't think you can go wrong with like an entry level vehicle like this it provides you all of the comfort and everything else you're looking for and it provides you with that driving experience that driving feel the handling as we'll talk about when we get out on the road here in a second is top notch so let's get out there and talk about it hey yens if you haven't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button it helps the channel, like I say every time. I appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe if you can. Thank you. All right, guys, on my good and bad list, let's start off with the good list. And obviously, the first couple things that come to mind are the sportiness, the manual transmission, the purest handling, the styling. It's like a mini supercar. And then you have a somewhat functional vehicle overall. And what I mean by that is, you're able to carry people in this. You can carry another person and you can carry a, a smaller child in this as well. They can fit in the back and you can actually fit things in the trunk. So I was actually able to have a hockey bag and two hockey sticks. I had the hockey bag in the back and two hockey sticks sitting here in the middle. So I was able to drive my son around to his different hockey events and it was okay. Now you have to really cram that thing in the back, but it does fit and I think that's a plus. If you can have a little bit of functionality with your with your sports car, then all better. There's nothing wrong with that. The bad list, however, the bad list is shortened to the point, and it's probably something that you think is bad. You know, driving something like this, it's got su it's super duper low to the ground, and I'm 41 years old. I'm a car dad, right? I got kids, I got things to do, I got, I'm running around. I mean, I am an active dad, I will tell you that, but getting in and out of this thing is something else, and it's something to behold. You fall into it, 
and then to get out of it I usually put my hand on the uh, on the sill plate down there and push myself out of it to get myself out so that's one of those things that it comes with the turf right it's it's low to the ground it's a sports car but it's really low to the ground the other thing is the extreme ride I, I don't mind it but I drove it to Cleveland and back for the weekend we had a hockey tournament and on the highway it's fine on the concrete different types of concrete it's loud it's very very loud and the ride stiffness is just it's it's very it's very noticeable it's very bouncy it's hard to hear the stereo the turn the stereo up really loud and that's my third bad thing on the list is the sound system is just lackluster would be the word for it it's not like horrific but if you turn up the bass at all I mean even a little bit to hear it it rattles the doors it, it pings everything it just sounds very unclean and very you know very boisterous it's not clean at all so those are the three bad things on the list your ride comfort comfort getting in and out of the vehicle is a struggle and then the sound system is just I mean it's not that I want a sound system to be you know overly over the top and something like this but it's definitely I would rather have it I would rather I would rather have a sound system that was decent that I could listen to music while I'm on the highway because when you're driving around in town like I am right now or on the twisty back roads you don't have the radio on you're listening to the car you're listening to the RPMs you're listening to the to the car react to the bends you're listening to the tires on the road stuff like that and you don't necessarily need a radio so for that matter it is what it is right but overall I really enjoy driving this thing I got us out in the open road here real quick so you can hear it driving the stick shift it's an easy stick shift to drive I only stalled it out one time when I had it and it was in reverse I just let the clutch out too fast and but otherwise in traffic on hills and in stop and go and whatnot you know it's very easy to drive it doesn't you know exhaust your leg for the most part it doesn't make you you know hate that you have a stick shift and the clutch the clutch is relatively short so you can really shift easily and get into the gear when you need it to. So I just enjoy it. I think it's a great little sports car. I think if you're looking for an entry level vehicle, it's not a V8 uh, and you want something that's just fun to drive on a summer day or a spring, spring nice day, this is something you should look at. The Subaru BRZ TS from Subaru, 2024 model year. This is Car Dad Bill, real cars, real people, real life. Please subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in next time.